Hello everyone, if you're watching this back on replay, please make sure you do give the video a thumbs up, make sure you hit subscribe and click the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video or when I stream live, which is uh, what I'm doing tonight. So, um, I'm using once again um, a, a, a camera on my phone that um, has been very questionable recently doing live streams and this has been very frustrating so hopefully fingers crossed it will be okay tonight obviously tell us how the live stream is going i've had no end of problems with this blooming phone i've upgraded my phone and all of that is problems with it so make sure you tell me how it is obviously it's a live stream if you want to skip parts of when the live walk starts which will probably be in a couple of minutes um on your watching on replay obviously just uh, skip ahead but i just wanted to say hello Thanks for joining me. I just want to say thank you as well for all the support um, that you've given the channel thus far as well. I mean, it's crazy, uh, close to hitting 80,000 subscribers. When I first started the channel um, two years ago, it was now, I never thought in a million years that I'd actually get to that figure. I, I always remembered thinking, oh, it wouldn't be great if I could get to 500 subscribers. And it was like, wouldn't it be great if I can get to 1,000? And then I thought, wouldn't it be great if I can actually get to... Um, 5,000 and then it was like I'll never get to 10,000 and then so it, it has gone a bit crazy by the way just talking about videos before we start uh, tonight's beautiful um, live walk um, there's a few videos coming up that I think you might be interested in obviously if you like the British seaside um, I will be doing some videos from good old Norfolk um, and Suffolk actually just down the road so uh, a video coming up tomorrow will be the other side of Great Yarmouth you might have seen a video that I did about the other side of Blackpool and it's very similar to that um, and then on Sunday obviously to celebrate the longest day of the year I thought I might as well go to the first place that gets to see the longest day of the year in the UK you might know where that is and of course next week I'll be doing a live on the longest day of the year to celebrate with a sunset in Ibiza. Now I hope that the, the signal is all right because it will be amazing walk around Ibiza town, literally just when the sun goes down the longest day of the year. So loads of videos coming your way, but tonight's live begins. I just want to say hello to some people in the chat as well. Can we say good evening to the moderators, Foxy B, Mike Ball, uh, Mike was not a moderator, but hello, Mike. Hello, David NW. Um, thank you very much. Crispy also. Uh, Belvedere, thank you for joining us as well. Do give the video a thumbs up. It does help me out. Amazing. Um, and also make sure you um, drop a comment. Mikey Faulkner is here. Hello, Mikey. Hello, Darren. Hello to Epic Duck Doctor. <laughs> Rocking the shorts. I know. Yes, ready? Do you want to see the brown? Do you want to see the brown legs? Here we go. Look at this. Look at the shorts, the brown legs, they're ready to go. Anyway, I won't bore you with any more chat. We're starting the walk just here. Now, if you've never been to Cromer, it's a, it's a beautiful little seaside town in North Norfolk. It's situated, of course, on the North Sea to where, and I've said this before in previous videos, but it's worth dropping in as well. You can see there's something made reference to it here. The site of where Doggerland, now that sounds a little bit dodged, doesn't it? But basically Doggerland used to connect um, Europe with the UK. Obviously, it was a big subcontinent years ago. The ice caps melted, and then it all just disappeared. So that's where all that would have been. It would have been a big. It would have been a big tundra just walking towards Europe. It would have been brilliant. You could have walked from here, literally all the way to um, well, if you really wanted to, Moscow or Greece or somewhere like that. But uh, I'm going to uh, flip the camera around and show you where I am. 320 people watching this evening. Again, give me a thumbs up and moderators, if you can please tell me what the signal is like, that would be great. Now, if I quickly be nosy, right, we can see some people playing bowls. Like that. Nice bit of sunset bowl action. <laughs> sunset bowl action. Uh, Rachel, thank you very much for your um, super chat. Your one pound seventy nine super chat. I do thank you very much, and uh, thanks for supporting the channel. Um, if you've never been to Crane before, maybe you have. We'll do um, a walk around the town. It is really beautiful sunset because it's on the North Norfolk coast, but you do get sunset. Our flights got cancelled. We'll talk about flights. Wow. We'll talk about that in a minute. Craigie celebrates ten months. Um. Hang on. There are so many bugs around, it's mental. Uh, hello to Mel. 
<laughs> Please don't tell me the signal's going to... There's people in the sea this evening. Look at that, what time is it? 7.35. The joys of being at the beach in summer. I don't know if you can see them. As I pan round to where the sun set. By the way, if I miss some of the chat, I will catch up with it briefly as well. Uh, James versus Gaming celebrating eight months of channel membership. Thank you very much, James. We're good, thanks. Julie Davidson would try to eat at Chroma Number One this week. You should. It's a really place. It's a really lovely place. Started our day trips away and adventures. Thanks for your videos. Oh, thanks very much, Bill and Lily. <laughs> to my expectations, you run in the sea and flip like a salmon. Otherwise, I won't be fully entertained. Hey, maybe one day I'll do. Um, well, I could do it. In fact, I don't know if you can see. There's some people in the sea just, uh, just there, and there's some in there as well. Now, the great thing about being here in Chroma is that you get sunset over the sea, which is just here. And in the summer, obviously, this happens quite frequently. And in fact, you can get some amazing shots of the sun going down um, just underneath Chroma Pier. Thank you, Chris. Life on the ocean wave, good evening. 400 people watching, as always, please give the video a thumbs up. It does help me out. We'll have a walk on the pier as well. Walk further up, <laughs> walk through the town. There are so many bugs, it's crazy. There's all these little spiders and everything. Why is Nightbop spamming the channel? I'm using a different app this evening, so the chat looks a little bit different. So I apologize, I will try to, uh, to keep up with the chat as much as I can. <laughs> Honestly, this is the worst thing about being in the UK. I don't know if you can see this on the top, but literally I am covered and I've got white shorts on, covered in flipping bugs <laughs> and little spiders as well. <sighs> oh my God. Uh, hello, Chris. Thanks for joining the live stream, buddy. Mouse Charger's here. Hello, Mouse Charger. Some great names. Andy Mullaney. Andy Mullaney. I hate the UK in summer. Bugs are a bit of an issue. Life of Timbo. Good evening. Yvonne. I'm, I think I've caught up with the chat now. So if you want to come say hello if I missed anything. Please let me know mods if I did miss any like super chats or anything. Because uh, the phone's connection was going a little bit weird. For some reason I can see everyone's comment twice. Um, am I going to do any videos? Of course, yes. Um, I will be finishing my um, whales videos as well very soon. Captain Caveman, hello. Thanks for joining tonight's live stream. Ali McNally, sorry. Sausage Dog, completely agree. Love Chrome and Haysborough. Gabby's in the chat. Looks like a beautiful evening. It is Paul. Hello to Catherine. Hello to Ben. Have I had any famous Chroma crabs? Not tonight, but there that is famous for Chroma crabs. By the way, if you were, if you want to see my tour of Chroma, you can go and check it out. Link is in the description. Obviously, make sure you check it out after the live. You should do Chapel St. Leonard's one day. Yes, definitely. The Bard loves the sound of the sea. You're not the only one. Give me his wave as you go past the sunken gardens. I'm in Orange Flats, lol. Orange Flats. What, the actual Orange Flats? Are they orange or do they just say they're orange? Someone might be able to tell me, they have a festival here in Cromer called the, um, the Crab and Lobster Festival. They also have it in Sheringham. I hope I haven't missed it this year. Mouse changer. Chroma is in North Norfolk on the coast, obviously. Andy Mullaney. David NW. I don't know what I call you NW. David NM. It's nice to see you on the live, buddy. Steve is on the uh, Norfolk Broads this evening. I do miss the Chroma goats as well. I don't know why they haven't been here for a long time. Well, I'll be joining the Crackmaster this year, hopefully in September. Sausage Dog Detective. Um, is uh, moving to Sheringham. Yes, you're very lucky. Sheringham is lovely. 
when are you doing Butlin Skegness? How did you know I was? Coming up soon, yes. So, um, Chroma is a traditional seaside resort, so it hasn't got like a big seafront if you've never seen it before. It's very subtle, but um, it's, it's one of those places that, you know, you often see on postcards when they advertise the Great British Seaside, but it's quaint. The word is quaint. <laughs> Obviously, what they do here as well is uh, they have a... Um, <laughs> flipping neck. There are so many bugs. They have a, uh, a bot. I, I think it's a New Year's Day soon. They have New Year's fireworks, which I covered last year. So, um, New Year's Day, sorry, at mid, at, at uh, like six, seven o'clock in the evening, they have fireworks, which is pretty cool. Oh, thank you, darling. See, the super chats don't come up as they normally do. So, if I do miss any, please uh, let me know. Bubble Cadbury, yes, in the midst of a heat wave in the UK, um, over the next, I think it's only tomorrow isn't it hello Haley Walker I had to double check what that said then hello to River Felix good evening Tim I live in Norwich but always enjoy going to Chrome I camped out on the beach last year great video loved your Norwich video as well I bet that was really amazing actually especially this time of year having a uh, a tent and are you allowed to do that I don't think you're not not allowed to do it these flipping bugs I don't think you can see them on the screen but literally they are everywhere bugs in my teeth in my they keep going in my ear as, as well and they're not just bugs they're these fly I don't know why but loads of little mini spiders are everywhere hey maybe that means I'm coming into money Julie is it nice and cool it's actually a very muggy evening here in Chroma and I and that doesn't happen very often at the seaside that you get warm evenings because of the uh, the sea breeze but the wind is going offshore tonight so uh, yeah it's very warm it's about 23 degrees at the moment We'll go on the pier in just a little bit. I found your channel the first I saw you having fish and chips in Benidorm. Ah, thanks for that. Sausage Dog Detective, thank you very much for your £4.49 super chat. By the way, I talk about the best fish and chips a lot on the channel. I did a review of Chroma number one. They do have some excellent fish and chips. See, I'm not the only one talking about spider flyy things. Is this live? Yes. It is live. The time is um, 7.43 right now. They like the yellow on your t-shirt. It's only a little bit of wording. Coast kebab after a night out. Thank you Foxy B for updating us. So are we saying that this app now that I've got seems to be working? I blooming hope so. George, can you wish Pearl the Pug a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Pearl. I have a Kiwi umbrella and little black bugs love it. Do you know what? There was this myth that you don't get bugs by the coast, but you do. Chrome is tiny little bookshop that apparently is not haunted. Ah, oh, thanks Warren Hill. Obviously to upload videos every day with the kind of videos that I do is uh, it's a bit of a mammoth effort, but uh, I'm trying to increase the amount of uploads I do. It's been a bit difficult recently because I've just traveled back from Mallorca and, uh, and Benidorm before that. And so uh, I'm going to Ibiza next week. So make sure you watch out for the live. In fact, that should be, we'll go down there in a minute. That should be um, pretty much this time next week. But I'll let you know. <sighs> So many bugs everywhere. I'll stop moaning about them now. Look at this though, for sunset. Almost feels Mediterranean tonight. Thank you River Phillips, that's what I try to do as much as possible. 500 people watching now, just give the video a thumbs up, it does help it out. If you're watching it on replay as well, drop a comment, that also helps the video out. So what's great about the sun rising literally just over there, it's truly amazing. If it does buffer, just stay with it. The signal um, occasionally drops out with all these big buildings. 
If you're hungry, you need to visit the Chip Bucket. It's the best street food in Cromer. I think I know what you mean, actually. There used to be, is that like where people get um, dirty fries? The Bard, I have done Sandringham already. I did that, to, oh, Sandringham? Oh yeah, well, there's not, I thought about doing that, but there's, there's not really that much in Sandringham, is there? We will be live until the sun sets, fingers crossed. It's up near the bus station, so good. How is the sea this evening? It is pretty calm. Hey Ross, good evening. Hope you enjoyed your holiday. Yeah, it was all right, thank you. What about Kings Lynn? Yes, Julie. Pembrokeshire, we love Chrome. We visited a few days ago, a few years ago. In the shadow of a, a very famous hotel in Cromer. We've got an audience up there. <laughs> now this has a very traditional seaside um, end of pier show, which is, it's not, um, I would say it's, it's not too over the top, but it is brilliant. On one of the most hauntedest piers in the UK right now. Gabby's talking about when we arrived back in Stansted, passport control. Yeah, Border Force, there was uh, two Border Force agents for about four or five different flights, all arriving just after midnight. Um, right, you're talking about Pontins Pakefield. I can't say too much, but be on the lookout. Would you ever do a video in Bristol? Jason, jury, um, yes. Obviously what I try to do, I try to do a lot of the seaside and stuff in the summer, uh, but then do that kind of uh, in the winter. Hey, the Wright family celebrates 10 months of channel membership. Wow, watching whilst working. I've missed the rest of that. Um, someone's heading to Crema tomorrow. Any more recommendations for the number one fish bar? Yes, go and see a show here if it's on which is the worst pontins, Breen Sands, that I've been to. So people love this kind of stuff, and if you do, right, there is a live camera, so you can check it out here in Chroma whenever, any, whenever, any time you want. Somebody just put a link up. You can go and check in at midnight and see the sea. It's a live camera, and you might be able to see me if you log in now. And if you are that quick, feel free to send us a screenshot. <laughs> Thanks, Belvedere. I'll move on. Oh, just got some new lights up there. Now, this is a popular place up here to do a little bit of uh, sea fishing. You can actually get crober crabs. You can't catch them. Well, you can catch them from here. There's nobody crabbing this evening, but obviously you can crab at any time. The crabs don't know that it's, um, well, unless they go to sleep, well, they probably do. Um, I live in Norfolk, so the answer to that question is yes. You should come to Lincoln, it's a hidden gem. Lincoln's amazing, I do like Lincoln. I don't know if actually catching anything. Be a little bit nosy. Have you got anything? No. So this is always a, an interesting RNLI as well, how it's on stilts right at the end of the pier. Uh, it's normally open during the, uh, the summer and it should be open normally. Chris, would you come to Southport? Not all pontins are bad. I did, Chris, and I have done a video on Southport as well. Mike, will I be walking under the pier? I'll probably lose signal, but the tide is in at the moment, so I don't think I can. See, more people fishing. This is a great view of uh, the hotel and the church just in the background. Do I watch the blue coat shows when I go to Pontins? The answer is, unfortunately, I don't have time normally. But this is a, uh, a very interesting pier. 
if you like your history and you like your ghosts, this has got some very spooky characters. And in fact, actually, you can, uh, it, apparently, if you come on this pier, this pier is always open as well, right? If you come um, in the middle of the night, in the winter or something, you know, like 10, 11 o'clock, and there's nobody else here, and there's a little bit of mist, you might be able to hear one of the um, ghost life group members. Apparently, you can hear them running up here. Spooky or what? So what we're going to do is just going to walk further up here. I've said this before, but if there's any people that like the street artist, the world famous street artist known as Banksy, one of his um, drawings, is that the right word? Murals, is up there, literally on the beach. Anyone having pre drinks? I think this is still shut. Oh, it is shut. Yes, Chris, it is rare to have a pier open 24-7 and it's also quite rare to have a pier that does not charge you. The amount of piers now that are charging, but let's face it, I think they're doing that for obvious reasons and that's obviously for the upkeep of the pier. Personally, I don't have too much of a problem with it. It depends how much they charge you. Western Supermare, they charge you quite a bit, don't they? Uh, Brighton Pier, they used to charge you. Bournemouth Pier, they charge you. Bournemouth Pier is well weird. They charge you only at certain times. So it's like, just go when it's not busy. But again, I think that's to support the, the peer and the, and the council and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, I've missed some of the chat there. Ghost walking crumb up here at night, Tim. Crispy, yeah. That would be good. Be spooky. Southport, yes, it is free. Hello, H-Man, watching from work. So we'll come back on the pier just to say goodbye to sunset, which should be happening in about, well, an hour and 20 minutes actually. We'll see how we go. The bunting's up. This restaurant is still open, look. Chroma Pier restaurant. Nice place to get a little bit of sunset and food. Sorry, my chat is a little bit delayed. Sorry if I've missed any of that. Uh, Jason, this is Cromer in North Norfolk. A traditional, really beautiful traditional seaside pier. I'm trying not to chip up. The, the front of the pier is very um, understated, I think, compared to some piers that have big brash signs and stuff like that. Cromer Pier is, uh, is quite subtle. Somebody said, have I been to a spice museum or something? I don't know what you're about. Uh, I need to go up this way. Look at the sky this evening. We're, like you say, temperatures tomorrow here on the coast are even going to be in the, uh, the late 20s. High 20s, should I say. Late 20s, high 20s. Casper's good. Melissa, thank you very much for asking. Hello, Steve. Uh, who else is here? Uh, Christina, my first live. Yay, welcome, Christina. Hello to Phil and Sarah Caravan Life. Hope you're good. Obviously though, when you get storms here on the Norfolk coast, literally this is where they smash up and the waves come over there if you want to get soaked in the winter. It's quite a high seawall as well, so hopefully it won't be too dangerous. These places are still marking the Jubilee. Well, why not? Mr. Texas, I live here. We're going to check out some of the pubs in Cromer. <laughs> That would be funny, actually. We could do a, a pub crawl live. James, thank you very much for your £4.49. Um, uh, check out the video. I haven't actually put it in the description, but you um, it's on the channel. Go and look for it afterwards. That'll be good. Found your channel recently to swim in. Yeah, the signal just went then. It was a little bit uh, oh, buffery. Is it back now? Hey, Sean, thank you very much for your two pound super chat. There's a great pub here on the right hand side called the Wellington. It's quite quiet tonight, you're right. No, Chrome is not my hometown. Foxy B, is it any better now, Foxy? 
uh, was in Cromer many years ago, need to go back for the Cromer Crab, you do. Now, people talk about the, um, the fish and chips in Cromer. People keep telling me the Mary Jane's fish and chips are the best. There's always a queue, not tonight though. <laughs> There's a cracking owl cinch. There's a queue here, look. Eight o'clock at night, people queuing up to get some ice creams. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I don't actually remember seeing that before. Uh, Stephen, hope you're okay with Jeb Do Alive in Devon, yes. And some videos coming up from Devon, probably at the end of the summer. Uh, Hannah says, Chrome is my favourite place. Went on holiday a few years ago with my grandparents. Stayed at the Hotel de Paris. Very nice. Hello to Arthur. Caroba Teeth. Bit of a distance, unfortunately, from Shetland for a quick visit. It is a little bit, isn't it? Again, with this app, sometimes it could buffer. This is just because it's a live stream, but stay with it. Give the video a thumbs up. Always helps me out. Oh my God, are these spiders biting me or what? Do you ever find parking the car a problem with shooting these videos? David, yes especially on a very busy um, summer's day or summer's evening. So we're in the town, there's a few shops here. I always go on about this, Bargain World Chroma, literally, it's like the B&Q of Norfolk. <laughs> I know Norfolk have got a B&Q, but it's like, it's brilliant in there, I love it. Uh, Brian, thank you very much for your five pound super chat. I am 73, um, recently went to Blackpool, best fishing chips had in my life. Oh wow, Lily's Foxhall. Foxhall Road, please try them. Oh, okay. Arthur says hi, hello Arthur. Um, Ellie, three pound, thank you very much for your pear character fist pump. With <laughs> This app is telling me the description of what you're doing because I can't see it. Thank you Ellie for that uh, super sticker. I appreciate it. Uh, were you tempted to take a trip to Binley Mega Chippy I was, and I was saying to Gabby, shall I go there and do it? But then I put it up on the Facebook page, showing, shall I go and do it? And everyone was going, no, it's oversaturated. And we were flying to Mallorca the next day, so... And if I do it now, it's a little bit late, I think. Almost 600 people watching live this evening. I just want to show you uh, a pretty little retro cinema that I never knew was here in, uh, in Chroma until I took a walk around here years ago. Recently moved away from the North area, Me really missed the gorgeous view and beaches. Shannon, I bet. I miss going into Tandy's in Chroma. I've always said about how cool this looks at night. Let me just show you, it's actually lit up now. Binley Mega Chippy in the winter. <laughs> Adam, your YouTube channel videos keep up the great work, mate. Have a lovely evening, Tim. Thanks very much. Hello to Sego Guitarist, uh, Jay Monster. Hello to you. It's nice to see some new people on the lives as well. I know the lives are not always everyone's cup of tea, but I offer the lives. And thanks very much, of course, to the ongoing channel membership that you guys um, do for me as well. It's a, it supports the channel. It's a great way to support the channel. The details are in the description if you would like to get a little bit more you get little emojis and some extra little bits but how cool is this cinema movieplex hang on i've got to just figure out where i'm going now i need to go back down this way Uh, Lynn Davis, thank you very much for your uh, five pound super sticker. <laughs> it tells me on here, it says uh, video game controller jumps up and down excitedly. Casper in his little blow up plane was gorgeous. Yes, it was. It is a nostalgic cinema, yes. I'm a little bit behind on the chat. 600 people watching, do give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out if you are watching it live. Obviously, uh, feel free to skip to the 
the bits that you want to see from Chroma. But if you are here live, thanks for joining me. Like I say, um, hopefully you'll be able to join me for a, uh, a very different live in Ibiza. Do I say Ibiza? It's like a pr proper old London thing. Oh, Ibiza. Ibiza next week for sunset on the longest day of the year. Dave, thanks very much. It is very nostalgic, that's why I love Chroma. There's also a pretty nifty coffee shop around here. Um, it's the Grey, is it Grey Seal Coffee Roasteries? Yeah, this is actually pretty nice to go and get rid of uh, coffee. Oh, we see it quite busy. But not very busy tonight. But this is what I love about Chroma, these little narrow streets. Where is Chroma? It's in North Norfolk. Uh, my Ibiza days back in 91. Well, if you, if you do know about Ibiza, if you're familiar with Cafe Del Mar and um, Cafe Mambo, the place where sunset happens, obviously I'm gonna try and get to that specific spot when sunset happens, which should be an hour ahead of UK time, so I'll still try and work it out. But yeah, that will hopefully be, um, when is the longest day of the year? Is it the 20, it's the 21st? I don't know what day that is. We just ran the back of the Hotel de Paris. This is such a gorgeous hotel. I did a bit more of this hotel actually in, um, I bet not going because I lose the signal, but on the channel, link is in the description. Uh, Marilyn, thank you very much for your five pound super chat. I do love Chroma, the church is beautiful inside, it is really nice. That person, I wish the US had towns like this who are not dominated by cars and stuff. Yeah, good point. Hello, Callum, uh, your five pound super chat, enjoying the walk around Chroma myself. And my parents live not so far. We feel a little bit lazy. <laughs> Danny Carter, thanks so much for that, buddy. Love your work, Tim. Here's a fiver. Should be enough to buy you a dressed chroma crab. I would get some. I don't think I'm actually selling any right now. Otherwise, I'd definitely um, head and get one. Is it easy to get to on the train? Um... Yes, you have to go via Norwich. The mic is okay, but I am getting absolutely covered in these blooming bugs tonight. You might be able to uh, see the white shorts, literally, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I'm literally covered in these bugs. There are spiders, they're going in my hair. I can feel them all in my hair. It's a good job I've got short hair and I'll hopefully be able to get them out, but um, they're blooming really annoying. Hopefully I haven't missed, if the moderators can let me know if I do miss any super chats, it's this new app that I'm using. It's, uh, it's for example, for some reason, it's like quadrupling the messages. I don't know why. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate that. This is what I love, coming down here. Now, apparently this particular pub has won pub of the year in Norfolk. And this is such a great little pub by the seaside. Steeped in history. I believe it's haunted. It's called the Red Lion. And I believe you, is it? I think you can stay here as well because there's a balcony up there. This is a great pub though. Because the view that you have, yes it is, it's a hotel as well. There you go, look. So you can imagine just sitting up there having a little bit of a beer, watching the sunrise over the North Sea. How beautiful that is to see. Thanks, app. Uh, catch up with the app. 
you can see the tractors there, the old beaten up tractors that bring um, all the boats on the beach from the day's catch and catching up with fresh chroma crab. Mike, where was this dog allowed you mentioned? You fancy going there, Mike? <laughs> you, it's under the North Sea now. You can't see it. By the way, if you were a diver, um, this is the best place to dive between Cromer and Sheringham. Um, it's got a chalk reef and you can see, well, I've said this so many times. I'd love to do it though, but I don't know anyone who scuba dives around here. Obviously going in the um, July, August, when the weather's calm, you can see some pretty amazing stuff. I've only seen this on YouTube. I can't say it for myself. Matt, that was really random. Uh, John Lawson, love your walks, Tim. We're retiring to Chroma during summers from Dallas, Texas. Wow, 2024. So it's always good to see new stuff about it. <laughs> Chroma's got a lot of history and it's one of those brilliant quintessential British seaside towns. <laughs> Sorry making that noise, but these bugs are doing my head in at the moment. Right, we're just gonna have a walk up towards the uh, the lighthouse. It's a nice walk, especially this time of the evening to get a little bit of the sunset before we walk um, just back over towards the other side. Louis, Louis Weirworld, good evening. Six hundred and ten people watching. How many thumbs up we got? I can't see on the app now, so uh, it'd be good if we get to five hundred thumbs up. So it does help the video out. Mr. Tech, the peer is spelled P I E R. <laughs> loving the videos, Tim. Loving Great Yarmouth Chroma and Caster ones and Blackpool. What about Nuki Wales and Snowdonia? Uh, Richard, I have done videos in Wales already. Uh, lad did know. I can never say that right. <laughs> and there will be more hotel reviews as well. All oh, right, 376. We could get a few more thumbs up for the sunset. Look at that of a Chroma peer. Arthur, thanks very much for your five pound super chat. How's Casper? He's fine. He's got baby X at the moment, bless him. So he's struggling a little bit. If we look down there, we can, uh... no, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, that's the, that's the gimbal playing up. You can see all the tractors down there, all the little boats that come on shore every day. The fishermen go out very early in the morning, sometimes late at night as well, to pick up the, uh, the fresh catch chroma crab. Chroma has a nice lighthouse, Scully. It does. It's just up the other end. <laughs> Matt Smith. Brilliant. <laughs> Dot. Hi, Tim. Just to let you know that it's YouTube who's having problems playing videos live. Really? Uh, when are you going to the pier, Mr. Tech? Well, I'll be returning to the pier for the sunset. 416 thumbs up can we get to 500 if you haven't hit the thumbs up it doesn't cost you anything can you still hire surfing along the front yes you can actually it's just down there now I'd walk down here but the problem is is the the signal would drop out but there is a surf school here and um, it's this area of the pier there's there's a few markers normally in the sea but um, you can learn to surf in chroma that is one heck of a view um, any live shows in Skegness this summer of course, literally as soon as I get back from my beef, I'll be doing plenty more. You need a walk with me face mask. Craig E. Craig, we can see you've, you've got yours on. Hope you have fun, Mike. These bugs are biting me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It does help me out loads. Can you say hello to Gemma and Simon, please, on holiday in Wales, going to Barmouth tomorrow, uh, by your recommendation. Gem, oh, I love Barmouth. I had some really fond memories going to Barmouth as a kid. And um, when I returned, it was exactly as I remembered it. Uh, thank you so much, Arthur. Really do appreciate that. Uh, Adam, uh, Grogo soon, but uh, have subscribed to your awesome YouTube channel. Months you have my full support always, mate. Have a lovely evening. That means a lot. Thanks very much, Adam. I've just left Chroma. Just missed you. So I'm a little behind on the chat. 
one of the benefits of global warming and international terrorism that people are holidaying in England. Well, not quite sure about that, Matt. I think people have always holidayed in England. And being on the north... <coughs> Sorry, bug went in my mouth. Um, John, good evening. Number one or Mary Jane's? Well, I actually haven't had any food at... <coughs> in um, Mary Jane's yet. So I can't comment. <laughs> Carla, exactly. Can you say hello to Erin and Anna? Hello. If you do want some inspiration for um, great places to visit on the seaside, I have got quite a lot of them on the, uh, on the channel. So just mention very quickly as well, if you missed the beginning bit, a uh, video is coming up this weekend. Um, I'm returning to Great Yarmouth to show you the other side of Great Yarmouth, which is a very interesting video. And also to celebrate the longest day of the year, being on the most easterliest point in the UK, which is the first place to get the sunrise on the longest day of the year. There'll be a video coming up there as well. <sighs> I'm knackered. Did somebody ask me what I think of pontins? <laughs> there are playlists, yeah, I try to update them. Uh, hello to Louis. I just want to show you the view from up here as I pan back round to Crime up here. You might be able to see, if I just stand up on here, this is probably one of the, uh, the best views as you're walking down. And if you get the sun right, um, and you're a photographer, you get it just going underneath the pier. It looks so pretty. There is a screenshot. Hopefully this is not too, um, ruining the screen too much, the bright sunshine. We are very excited about going to Barmouth. We climbed Snowdonia yesterday, wow. Do you know that when you visited Wales, if not highly recommended? Did you do that when you visited? Oh, I see, right, no I didn't. <laughs> yes, weather's gonna be very hot tomorrow. There are so many bugs. If you are coming to the coast, especially in Norfolk, and you think to yourself, You'd be free from bugs, you'd be mistaken. It's very warm. The temperature's around about 25 degrees. And that doesn't happen very often on the coast, especially um, this early. You get these thunderflies, what they're called, little black things, black beetle things. You get flying spiders. Oh, it's horrible. Chat, good evening from Beckles. If you are coming to the coast tomorrow, it's gonna be very hot, the sun will be very strong. Um, yes, definitely. Oh, Anna, always, <laughs> always. I appreciate the support. If you haven't um, hit subscribe yet, it's free to do that, remember. And of course, uh, it doesn't cost you anything, so you get notified when I go live, when I've got a video coming out. I do get a lot of messages from people saying, oh, I always try and catch your lives. I try to uh, put them up, so. What I do is I'll tell you on social media, I put it up on YouTube like as a notification, it sometimes comes up, you sometimes might see it. But the um, best thing to do is join my social media, links in the description for Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I've got these bugs in my ears now. Uh, Robert, good question. What's the difference between a super stamp and a super chat? Well, it's actually a super sticker. The difference is, when you do a super chat, you can actually write and say something. With a super sticker, it's just like a little quirky little digital sticker. Now, someone does keep spanning the channel, uh, channel about California cliffs from different accounts. I take it you want me to go and look at California Cliffs Holiday Park. Matt Smith, you are coming out with some brilliant ones tonight, and I wonder how many people actually notice what you're referring to. I don't normally make too much reference to it, but yes. 
Love it. <laughs> I thought Lowestoft was the most easterly point. William, it is. That's what I'm talking about. Cromer Country Club is lovely, yeah. You are quite near my house. I live in Surrey Street. Should pop in for a cup of tea. <laughs> How many thumbs up have we got? I can't see. Giving the video a thumbs up, it helps push it out to more of my subscribers. So I do appreciate it. I, I do have a very active um, moderating team in the chat, which do a brilliant job. And sometimes I get messages, moderators, this is just for you, but sometimes I get emails from very unhappy people when they say, I got banned, I, my comment got deleted, and I got banned, I got time, and I get a lot of that. But you're doing your job well. But then I find it awkward having to apply because I don't really know what's been said. Anyway, Sue, thanks very much for your, um, your little pear sticker. Shaking with his hand saying cool. Charlie, hello, hello to Ali. 478, can we get to 500 thumbs up or if not more, that'd be good. Hello to Chris. Uh, Bethany, I wasn't live yesterday, I was supposed to be. Uh, Tony, yes, it is absolutely beautiful. Ryan Scott, good evening. <laughs> Spam sandwiches. We'll go and check out this, um, before we back, head back down to the, uh, the seafront, I'll just show you this end of town, which is quite nice. Now this restaurant here called uh, The Gangway, it's always really popular. It's literally just down from the church. But you can just see how busy it is, peeping out, people eating out al fresco. Look how quiet the streets are in Cromer though, with the sunset. Uh, Daisy, would you say uh, hello to my mum in Leicester? Hello, Daisy's mum in Leicester. We've got 500, let's go for a thousand while we're at it, go on. How was uh, Spain? Any more vlogs coming from there? Charlie, yes, I'll be going to Ibiza next week. They'll be live for my Ibiza next week as well. And also I'll be uh, doing another travel video showing you uh, how I got down there. Cause once again, I'm gonna rent a car. I'll actually show you the accommodation that I'm staying in. I'm actually slightly concerned because uh, I've booked myself into a cheap um, apartments, which I think are used by 1830, so I probably won't get any sleep. Uh, Alex, no, I haven't done the one pound burger yet. I keep meaning to actually. Where are all the seagulls? Somebody mentioned this before. They're all down by the beach, chilling out. How come it's so quiet? It is busy in parts, but obviously this is a, a quieter seaside town. Aviation, good evening. Um, Quig, is it Quig? 900, good evening Tim. I just recently discovered your channel. My wife and I binge watch it. Ah, oh, thanks for the support guys. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna look really old if I turn up to an 1830s hotel. Although, to be fair, those ladies on my video that I did in Blackpool the other day thought I was 37. So I can still get away with, <laughs> I can still get away with it. River Phillips, yes, this is the part of Cromer that most people don't see. I like to show you the main parts and then show you some places that uh, are a little bit quirky. I'm just walking up. I want to show you a really great little, and I sound like such an old person now, an old git. Sorry, not offending anyone, but... I am old before my time and there's a great tea shop up here which uh, me and Gabby discovered and we, we sat and had a cup of tea in here one winter's, uh, one winter's night and it was just really nice. We had a walk down by the beach and you know, the coast is great in the summer but it's equally, if you come here in the winter, stay in a bed and breakfast or a hotel, you know, you can have some really lovely weekends by the sea. Yeah, and we had a nice cup of tea. It was quite cold, misty. Um, again, I'm a little, a little bit behind on the chat. You have a, oh wow, Loki, you have a, a holiday cottage in clay. The Norfolk coast is beautiful this time of year. Hello, Rebecca in sunny Scarborough. 
David, yes, the Eastern Daily Press and Great Earth Mercury. Why, why is it newspapers, right, whenever they report a story on anybody, they always have to give the age away? No, but why? What? Okay, now I don't know if anyone's back. <laughs> that was my fault. That was my fault, right? Because right by where the chat is, there is a, uh, a stop live, which I accidentally hit. So I'm so sorry. Is anybody back? I hope you're back. If you're not, I do apologize. We've probably lost half the audience, but um, I'm using a new app. And where I'm actually pressing on the chat, I hit the stop button. But what's actually quite good about the app is even if I do that, I can actually come back into it. So uh, thankfully it has. Anyway, we've probably lost half the audience. We'll continue. This is the, um, the tea shop that I was talking about. This is um, called Hatter's Tea Shop. They took the sign down though. But yeah, this is a lovely little place. It's like really all authentic kind of like Alice in Wonder Hat, Wonder Wonderland type of stuff with the tea. Um, and you, you have it in little proper, you know, what am I talking about? Teapots. <laughs> it's the bugs, they got into the system. But hey, thanks for 450 of you for just hanging around because that was a good two minutes. So I'm sorry about that. What did I miss, by the way, in the chat? <laughs> what did I miss in the chat? You see, that's commitment. If you actually hung around, even though you probably thought, what's going on? I know that a lot of people are like, oh, that's it, I'm off. So I appreciate if you stuck around. Um, Oliver, yes, I will be coming to Tenby, definitely. Yeah, we were just blagging. Currently listening to you as I play Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I love playing that game. Oh, somebody said about the uh, the bucket list. I don't think they're open. That chip shop is just over there. Next to Chroma, Cabin, uh, Chroma Kebab and Pizza Takeaway. It's, um, it's chips with like homemade toppings. It's a big thing now, they're over there, but it's like six pound for some chips with uh, smoked cheddar, chili. Mm, it's pretty good. I'll keep my finger away from the um, from the off button. Um, Robert, enjoyed the uh, content. Thank you very much for your support, Robert. Um, especially the Canary Islands. Was it your daughter on the boat? Um, also, so you pull in the lift with those tipsy birds. They were they were very old ladies. They're the, probably the same age as my nan. Uh, yes, but I'm, I'm hoping, obviously, fingers crossed, to do um, to go back to Tenerife um, probably September time, but also the other Canary Islanders of Lanzagrotti. Somebody really randomly wanted to know the price of petrol. One pound ninety here in Chroma for diesel. Yes, I haven't. No, I haven't done Fjord Venture. No, you're right. Michael and Judy Claridge. Good evening. Thanks very much for that. So that's one pound ninety for diesel, a litre. I was um, obviously we were in Mallorca, and it was uh, I think about two euros ten cents. So they normally hold the Chroma Crab Festival, or they haven't done because of COVID, just up here on this big bit of grass. But um, I love how everything is around the crab. This is the Crab Stick Adventure Golf Course, and it's, uh, it's quite themed. Themed quite well. They even got their, their own little beach huts. Can you see that? But this area here is where they uh, normally hold the uh, the Chroma 
crab festival. I know that the Chroma, the Sheringham lob Chroma, the Sheringham crab and lobster festival is going ahead this year. Eight pounds sixty a gallon. What? By the way, does everyone else hear those little jingle things that come up? David, thank you very much for your little, um, your super sticker. Thanks for the support. David, I see you're very busy on other people's channels at the moment doing the old um, modding. You won't have any free time. You're a bit like KK. Yeah, Gabby, that's because I need to turn it off. It's basically when it, someone notifies me when I get a super chat or a super sticker because I can't see on here when they come in. Uh, can recommend a video of Cleveley's just north of Blackpool. Yes, notifications. Uh, if you do want to see a video of Sheringham and Chroma, look at that. It's not very often you see that on a crazy golf course. <laughs> of a lobster. Or is that a prawn? Lobster, I think. What's your top seaside holiday destination in the UK? Keep it real. Do you know, it's very difficult because they're all brilliant and unique in their own ways. I'm trying to get up to the Northumberland coast. I should be going back to Skegness. And I've had a lot of messages, obviously, because of the videos from the worst rated holiday park to go and check out more Butlins. I'd done one Butlins Bogner, but uh, I will be going to Butlins Skegness. The thing is, it's um, availability really because uh, they get booked up so in advance and uh, it's actually costing quite a lot of money. But yeah, the Northumberland coast is beautiful. Now, I bet you if I, if I attempt to go down there, that's gonna, but I will do it anyway. Right, I know I'm repeating myself here and I'm just going back up this way to go back onto the pier to check out the sunset, even though officially the sun doesn't go down for another 40 minutes. Mouse changer, charger, thank you very much. Go on the rides. When you come to the uh, British seaside though, you've got to come down to the amusements. It's just one of those things, even if you don't spend any money, just being in the atmosphere, I'm gonna walk. Is that real gold? What are they? That is weird. I thought it was real gold for a second. I do sorry, I am sorry about the, uh, the spitting of the flies at my god, but they are literally everywhere tonight. You gotta love the bingo. In Blackpool, they've got the cheapest bingo in the UK. Fish and chips now costing an average of 24 pounds. That's not strictly true. Well, if you have chips, it depends where you go. Um, did I miss a super chat there? I've got a notification, but I don't know if I got that. Say happy birthday to Sally. Happy birthday, Sally. The Wellington public is kicking in there. Oh, look at that. They've now got accommodation. I didn't know that. So we're gonna end the live stream properly this time on the pier. more busy up here now than it was before. I think people are coming down to the pier for sunset, maybe. Everyone's way. Uh, JW, love the content. Uh, it's been bringing us recently while working from home. Have you ever thought about wandering around Torquay, anywhere in Devon? Yeah, JW, the problem is at the moment is just time literally trying to get around everywhere. But um, of course, definitely. I mean, obviously, 
you can visit these places in the winter, which I also like to do because it shows, you know, a completely different kind of feel and view of these places in the winter. But uh, yeah, if not this year, maybe next. I just noticed that. Look at that on the lights. In fact, all these lights down here have got Union Jacks. Now, the reason why I'm coming down here now is because the sun is uh, unfortunately going behind the clouds. So this will probably be the best view of sunset we will get tonight. Joey B, thank you very much, Joey B. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Geek Soup, my favorite pier has got to be in Eastbourne. It's got um, the most amazing, what looks like gold, or is it brass, but a very ostentatious uh, owner. I don't know if he still owns it, or used to own it, but um, decided to, um, I heard a rumor it was a shake or something, he decided to um, paint it gold. I could be wrong. So last look on the pier and sunset this evening. The temperature, Charlie, right now, it's a very balmy evening in Cromer. It's about 20, 25, 25, 24 degrees, something like that. Well, the restaurant's shut now. <laughs> 28 all day, Charlie. Um, Hazel, thank you very much Hazel, me and Gabby wanted to say thank you so much for that, it was very kind. Lewis, it is very warm here this evening. Again, if you do come to Cromer and you're worried about the pier shutting, like I said, it's always open, so uh, definitely come and have a walk on Cromer Pier. So, they have piers in America, but we British love these. I had um, a couple of emails or messages from uh, a couple of our American friends saying, what are these all about? Well, obviously, when we get the wind and the cold, people still like to sit on the pier. Us Brits, we like to persevere. So we sit on those, um, we sit in these little wind kind of breaks as they were. David, thank you very much for your uh, five pound super chat. Watch, love your videos, and we'll continue to do so. I appreciate your support. And the only thing I'd say is, even if you see a video that comes up and you think to yourself, oh, I'm not really in the mood to watch that, it does help me out if you just click it um, and give it a thumbs up and maybe just leave it on playing in the background. I know that sounds really cheesy, but uh, I know that some people's taste in videos that are subscribed could be different at times, but it always does help me out. So uh, thanks for very much for that, David. So the UK is beautiful. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Remember some interesting videos coming up and of course hopefully you'll pack your sun cream and hopefully you'll be able to join me next week on the 21st which will be the longest day of the year for a sunset in Ibiza and it's great because when the sun sets in Ibiza everybody cheers. The sun is not setting here in Chrome but when the sun does set do we get anybody cheering? No <laughs> we don't which is a little bit of a shame but yeah I will leave it here in Chroma. Thank you so much for watching. I will bid you good night and I'll leave you with the view of the uh, amazing hotel, Hotel de Paris. So yeah, see you on the live next week and the videos that are coming up tomorrow and on Sunday.